Okay, so we are recording, right? Okay, so uh, should I also intro introduct this session <laughs> for recording? Sure. <laughs> so welcome to the weekly uh, Let's Talk Top Tech session. <laughs> uh, today we have uh, the three topics, maybe more. And uh, we are going to start with the one proposed by Pep and Harshard, that's guidance and build for Arch64 target. So please uh, just, just, uh, before we before we continue, um, I I just need to make sure that we keep that topic in mind. Um, and I think my own topic um, can be postponed. And um, I guess I need to steal uh, Francesco. Oh, he, he already left because we are on a different call. Um, so the, the ARM thing is mainly driven by the summit demo, right? Um, so maybe uh, Pep and Harshad, you can think about that. What does it mean for um, TOS, right? Thanks, everybody. Hey. I need to drop okay. again. Dominic, very well. Sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> OK, so let's continue with the topic. And please, Pepper Harshart, exp explain it. And Actually, it was uh, Christoph yeah. who added that topic and target oh. uh, Harshart. And <laughs> oh, I see. OK. <laughs> um, I think it's a topic that Harshat and I need to talk about. But uh, it's about, basically, we th that summit demo for context. Uh, uh, the plan is to, uh, well, the demo is long, but it includes, one of the things that it includes is to uh, deliver um, sure. A model and a, like a container image basically with a set of packages for which Todd should have provided a recommendation and advice and the target one of the targets actually there are two multiple targets but one of the targets is uh, an arm platform so we need to provide recommendations for how to you know the packages to include in in that so that container image targeting arm and I believe that Todd doesn't currently have data for the ARM platform. So the topic to discuss is how or how or can we make this happen or what what's the what's needed, what would be needed? That's the question. I saw the issue which they activated in October Summit uh, repository. I think they also commented on how we can do it during the build time with a with an uh, environment variable set. Uh, where you can set which uh, infrastructure you're building it on. Uh, but I think apart from, we can set that in the build pipeline so that can take care of it from Todd side. I think once we had discussed this and uh, there were some discussions on uh, adding these uh, values into the database, setting what is coming from which architecture, uh, which packages for which architecture, so things like that. But that was in future we haven't discussed in how to bring it right now. So I don't know how Toth can help as of now, but we can do it in the build pipeline. I just have one another concern because I remember this discussion came when we were thinking about Power9 architecture. And uh, for that, you need a Power9 node to build things on. I don't know how ARM um, uh, differs in that way, but if the node can do it, maybe we can start building them and test them on. Right. I, I believe so. Two things. One is building the image itself, which we can have either, I mean, there will be uh, the, the, the people working on the demo will have uh, ARM infrastructure to potentially build. But the, the other part is the, 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 the thought side of the being able to recommend um to do recommendations and i don't for that i think frido mentioned we would need a cluster an arm cluster actually to actually ingest the data initially and this would, it would take a while right uh quite quite not only in time but also in in resources needed right yes i think so that's what was the conclusion last time and also, like you said, uh, the Octo team might have 
the architecture, but as of now, they are using the pipelines, which are on operate first. So it means that we have to also deploy it on those architecture. Yes, because they, yeah, ARM is one of the targets. There, there's uh, another, uh, yeah, x86 is also, x86, x64 is another target. That one is already working, but the same pipeline, put in another way, the same pipeline when it has to deliver the container for ARM will not work, right? Because it, the recommendation is part of the steps. Yeah, maybe we can just consult with Frido on this and check once uh, and then discuss on that. Mm -hmm. But on the build side, yeah, like I just suggested, we can do that. Yeah, OK. I think that's the only thing I had for this topic. Uh, if, if nothing else, maybe we can move to the next one. All right, so that that's hopefully pr proposed by you, Pep. <laughs> yes, that one was proposed by me. Uh, the six and areas discussion again. <laughs> um, now I'm wondering though if we should have that discussion with including like the whole team, like. Uh, Frido, Francesco, and Christoph. Yes, if so. only not to have it yet again when <laughs> the whole team is there. What do you guys think? Sorry. Is guys the right term? I don't know. I'm trying to use that. That's fine. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I shifted no shift shift to folks. So one people, can people. Me. It's uh, or. Okay. Humans. <laughs> uh, humans. Sorry. Is is it okay with you to postpone or the, or do you think? Yeah. Last one from my side. No, we can. Yeah. I think we should postpone. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So if there is no topic, I think there is only one more, right? Yeah, and that's by Christoph. So uh, that could be also postponed to do the next week. Yeah, so I'll bring in new topic uh, because Dominic is here once I. Uh, so sometime ago, uh, Maya had opened the issue about getting uh, documents from MI uh, to the generic Ceph. Uh, and just finding that issue so that we can talk through that. Uh, I think uh, I am, so I'll just put it here. Can you see it? If you want, I can share the screen uh, if no one is sharing. Yes, of course. Uh, So this was the topic. Uh, this is the issue, right? And uh, we wanted data which was generated in PSI cluster to be in available in the uh, general Ceph, which is open to everyone in in this one from the MOC cluster. Uh, we had done that, but unfortunately, when we saw the data, it was mostly all of them were labeled zero zero zero, or the content was zero in each of them. I think. And Francesco had, uh, I think, what I remember from that is the data is not relevant. And uh, at that some point of time, Dominic was going to recreate it. And that's why I kept it on hold. I wanted to know what the process is, of what do we want. I had entered some the information here. Yeah, so yeah, so it's, it's, maybe if this is something interesting we can discuss. 
Yeah, th there are two types of MI data. And the one is the Kebeshev metrics that uh, failed to be calculated. So those were the zeros. But the other other one is uh, the pull requests and issues uh, data sets. And those should be fully extracted. So uh, just a second. Can you say which two? Sorry. Uh, can you repeat that? Don't yeah, so 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 you have capacitor metrics, and you have uh, then the general uh, general GitHub data. So if I sh I'm still scare sharing, uh, I'll show you what happens here. So I think it's. Uh, it's visible, right? Like everything? Yes. Yeah. OK. Uh, so you see this list. This is basically everything inside dot scope, right? And there is nothing titled with MI, but I know it's here in under uh, this format where you see these things, AICOE, AI ops, CNV. So if we go inside this, there is this data. And uh, so. So yeah, this is the Kibbushet one, the Kibbushet metrics. So this one? Yeah. Uh, and this is currently, should should we copy this or should we add no, it now? No, no, this is, this is useless because it contains just the zeros. It's just the computation that does not work from, from for some reason, but there should be under MI component data I, related to MI, just GitHub stuff only, pull requests and issues. Is it? Uh, because uh, what I see, it's under each uh, organization name. So if I go to Todd Station, then there is the information about each repository under its own directory. You see like this. Is this also Kebishet? Yes, that, that's Kebishet, right. So this is also not relevant. Yeah, like that's not relevant because uh, there's some issue in the pipeline. But yeah. so where should I check for the MI one? Uh, that is what I was not sure about. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure if it's on Upshift cluster, mm -hmm. but should but should be because the uh, because the test on OCP four is connected to the Upshift, right? Yes. I see. Uh, so this is the one, right? Uh, can you still see my screen? Is this the bot knowledge is the one which we need to? Yes, the, yeah, the, that's exactly it. Right. Yeah, and under, yeah. OK, so whatever is inside this, this is what we need. We can be sure that it's working, right? Like yeah, yeah. So I don't know if if uh, the pipeline still runs because I was out of office, but yes, but yes. it should it should run daily and update it. But you can see, no. So okay. it 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 eleventh of the first. All right. So uh, nevertheless, this is the data that should be moved because oh. it's valuable. Sounds good. And rest of the things we'll discuss and we'll get the chemistry metrics later, right? Yeah. The capacitor metrics data uh, has to be regenerated because of the issue. Uh, if you have that issue anywhere created, can you give a, like pass it on to me later? 
Yeah, uh, I would try to find it. Thank you. Can I ask uh, context maybe. questions? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, just maybe Hasha just tag me into the document uh, yeah. to link an issue. Yes, so uh, I don't forget. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yes, Pep, you can ask. Yeah, sorry, sorry, maybe it's a very silly or basic question, but the, the issue, the original issue is about moving the data from, from PSI to small. Uh, my question is, so the, the what generates that data is running on, on PSI. Can we instead not run the, the data, the collection directly on smoke and then no need to move anything? Yeah, but uh, in order for the initialization, so you don't want to in, uh, you don't want the first process to run like week week because it would be counterproductive because already we have data uh, from repositories that can be just updated. Right. So in in order for this to be quicker, uh, you can always move the data. But yeah, overall, uh, yeah, we can still throw the data out and uh, just let MI generate for one week the new one. So they will be the same. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm just thinking, keeping it up to date. How to be update up to date, let's say. Yeah, that, that's probably more agile, I would say, because uh, we could test the MI on, on the smoke cluster and also see if it's correct, because if it would generate the whole data set, we would know that it's correct. And if not, that would be also valuable, because that would mean that something is wrong with the setup. So overall, maybe we can uh, we can forget about moving the data and uh, just start to deploying MI on smoke. OK, well. <laughs> I was just asking, uh, I don't know what's the best option, so up to you. Uh, or... Well, I don't know about the smoke cluster. Is it uh, reliable? It, hopefully it is. Uh, yeah. It, because from previous experiences, we also wanted to move MI to the zero from PSI. And that did not end up well, because we uh, then had to remove it back to the PSI because zero was unavailable. So yeah. that's my question, basically. But, but I believe that smoke is here to fix the issues with zero. Uh, uh, right? The same thing was also yeah, said zero. zero. Was, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I assume that smoke is it's looking good. I don't know. It's hard shot. You, you, you're probably more familiar with it, but I think it's so I mean, we have seen issues with storage here and there sometimes, but they are fixed now. I think uh, it is uh, pretty stable as of now, but we need to figure out a few things. So uh, we can get MI there. We have things in place. So we just need to check the check based on our deployment. So we can take this up next week. So uh, the most important question is whether the ZEF is operational on smoke, because I remember there was some some issue with writing data to the cluster. Yeah, they have fixed it uh, in the past month, everything. So that's the reason all this thing uh, came into picture again. OK. Is it the first one? Is it the second one? Same? The same. That's just an alias. I don't have I don't, I don't have duplicate in Brazil. <laughs> awesome. Thanks uh, for the information. I think I was just waiting on this uh, thing. Yeah. yeah thank, thanks talk. for asking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything else? I'll leave it to Dominic. Yeah, so it seems there is no topic, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, yeah. To, the other, to, to the other, to next week. Okay, so I would therefore end the uh, session and would like to thank you all for attendance and 